My name is Farad Mohammed. Uh, you may have seen me on uh, Channel Awesome as well as some other uh, YouTube videos out there. I recently did a video for Clickhole where I played a 250-pound man that was split from a 500-pound man into two different guys. Anyway, um, those of you who have not read the scene books, I will be handing them out. I uh, will just spend the first few minutes to just uh, look over them there. The first page will be consisting of scenes from video games and video game movies, and the uh, remaining pages will be based off of actual movie movies. So, here's how this whole thing works. Why don't you select the scene, you're going to head on up over to me, I, and then, uh, or you can head over to Dodger, if, if anything else would you be able to do. And then, um, uh, uh, don't, don't you raise your hands, you'll be able to raise your hands, so everybody can be able to see you there. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, hand you over to, I'll hand over to you a notebook that you just write down their name, the movie, the, the movie, your game that they want, and the scene that they want, and then it will play on this monitor in front of you right here, as well as on the uh, uh, big screen over here for everybody else to see. And then uh, let me just give you a quick demonstration as to how this potentially would work. Um, this, this, this is done all over, the, uh, all over in Chicago uh, as part of Chicago Movie Oki, and this is kind of an offshoot of that to be focusing more on um, uh, video games or video game movies there. So let me just try just a regular movie here. Um, you know what? I'll do one of my classics. Just to give a quick introduction to the concept. Let's see here. Where is it here? A-M-A-N-A-N-Y. There we are. <clears throat> So as you can see, it starts out on the screen, and then the words will appear at the bottom. I don't know what to say, really. Three minutes, the biggest battle of our professional lives, all comes down to today. Now either we heal as a team, or we're gonna crumble, inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. One inch at a time. Now, I can't do it for you. I'm too old. I look around and I see these young faces and I think, I mean, I made every wrong choice a middle-aged man can make. I, uh, I pissed away all my money, believe it or not. I chased off anyone who's ever loved me. And lately, I can't even stand the face I see in the mirror. You know, you're the old in life, things get taken from you. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of life. But, you only learn that when you start losing stuff. You find out life's this game of inches. So is football. Because in either game, life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one have a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. On this team, we fight for that inch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. We claw with our fingernails for that inch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. Now I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's a guy who's willing to die who's going to win that inch. And I know if I'm gonna have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that inch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now I can't make you do it. 
You got to look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. I think you're going to see a guy who will go that inch with you. You're going to see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're going to do the same for him. That's a team, John. And either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals. That's football, guys. That's all it is. Now, what are you gonna do? And so this one you can applaud and so forth and so on. So, <laughs> bit of a mid-range scene, but that's pretty much the gist of Movieoki. And Full Mission Videoki basically does the same thing with movies and I'm sorry, with video games and video game-based movies. So, uh, if anybody is willing to go up and tr and start things off, what would you like to do, sir? Clerks. Clerks. I'm gonna ask for video help. I'm just gonna do it by myself. Okay. And your name is? Ramiro. Give it a big hand for Ramiro! Climb on up. Climb on up. Grab a mic. How's everybody doing, huh? Oh, yeah. I got it here. I need a notebook. Oh, All right, how do you spell your name? Uh, R-A-M-I-R-O. I, I don't have to put that in the mic. Oh, clerks. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. They say so much, but they never tell you if it's any good. Are any are either one of these any good, sir? Sir, what? Are either one of these any good? I don't watch movies. Well, have you heard anything about either one of them? I find it's best to stay out of other people's affairs. You mean you haven't heard anybody say anything about either one of these? Nope. Oh. Well, what about these two? They suck. These are the same two movies. You weren't paying any attention. No, I wasn't. I don't think your manager would appreciate it. I don't appreciate your ruse, ma'am. I beg your pardon? Your ruse. Your cunning attempt to trick me. I was only pointing out that you weren't paying any attention to what I was saying. And I hope it feels good. You hope what feels good? I hope it feels so good to be right. There's nothing more exhilarating than pointing out the shortcomings of others, is there? Well, this is the last time I ran here. You'll be missed. Screw you! You're not allowed to write here anymore. Yeah! Brilliant. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Oh, yes. Gotcha. Understandable. Understandable. Give another big hand for Ramiro. Alrighty, um, we're gonna be we're gonna be signing. Uh, if you'd like to sign up in the future for more scenes, just head on up over to uh, Dodger over here. She'll be able to write the names down. But in the meantime, who else wants to go up? Head on up. Which scene? Uh, Dark Knight Rises, Bane football speech. Oh, okay. Nice. And your name? What's your name? Uh, John. Okay, John. Give a hand for John. Oh yeah, just don't hit him. Give a hand for John. Oh, right oh, of course. Right. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> Let's see. Batman, Batman, Dark Knight. Right. It, bang bang speech. speech. There you go. Three, two, one. Hit it. Guess I'm looking for that thing. Now, this bam is on. This bam is made by you. And the identity of the trigger man is a mystery. For one of you, Holds the detonator that we can be not as conquerors, but as liberators to return control of this city to the people. And at the first sign of interference from the outside world, 
or for those people attempting to flee, this anonymous Gothamite, this unsung hero, will trigger the bomb. Uh, when our martial law is in effect, return to your homes, hold your families close, and wait. For tomorrow you claim what is rightfully yours. Let it began for John. Fantastic. Here we go back to you, the people. All right. Who wants to go next? Well, it's one of you two. Uh, who wants to go next? I'm a 61. <laughs> what are you? All right, excellent. All right. Which scene? Uh, Kingdom Hearts, um, Ansem and Zora. Excellent. Yeah. 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 And your two names? Um, Elliot and Sabrina. Give a big hand for Elliot and Sabrina. <laughs> this would be funny. Two, one, go. Take a look at this tiny place. To the heart seeking freedom, this island is a prison surrounded by water. And so this boy sought to escape his prison. He sought a way to cross over into other worlds. And he opened his heart to darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother. Your voice can no longer reach him where he is. His heart belongs again to darkness. All worlds begin in darkness and also end. The heart is no different. Darkness brought within it grows, consumes it. Such is its nature. In the end, Every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. You see, darkness is the heart's true essence. That's uh, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> the heart may be weak, and sometimes it may even give in. But I've learned that deep down, there's a light that never goes out. Yeah. <laughs> So you have come this far and still you understand nothing. And what's your name? Every light must fade. Every heart return to darkness. Rawr. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll give it a little time. Give another big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. While we were enjoying that, we had a sign up. Sweet. Can we get Danny up here, please? Danny! We're going back to Clerks. Clerks, let's do it. Sorry, guys, but... Woo! Hey, it's classic. Yeah. Wow, that's a high mic. <laughs> <laughs> that's really just kind of short. Okay, which scene? Uh, 37 blowjobs, please. 37, there you yes! go. Yes! I actually turned 37 in a couple weeks. That's Clerks out pretty hard. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh shit, I'm sorry. And, uh, that was Snowball. Why do you call him that? Okay. Sylvan made it up. It's a blowjob thing. What do you mean? After a blowjob, he likes to have it, you know, spit back in his mouth. It's called okay. snowballing. Okay. He requests this, he gets off on it. Sylvan talked about in, uh, talking to anything. Why do you say that? Like he said, you snowballed him. Joey. Sylvan, no, I snowballed, not snowballed him. Yeah, right. I'm serious. You suck that guy's dick? Yeah, how do you think I knew? You had sex with three different guys. You never mentioned him. Because I never had sex with him. You sucked his dick. You <laughs> a few times. We never had sex. Oh my God. Why don't you tell me about this? You had sex with three guys. Because I did. I only had sex with three guys. It doesn't mean I don't just go out with people. Oh my God, I feel so nauseous. I'm sorry, Dante. Yeah. Fucked up already. <laughs> you had sex with three guys, that's all you said. Please calm down. How many? Dante, let it go. How many dicks have you sucked? Shut up. Let me a second, let me tell you. Jesus. Thank you. I didn't freak out like this when you told me how many girls you fucked. 
This is different. This is important. How many? <laughs> <laughs> Hands are a change of really fucking hard. <laughs> something like 36. What? Something like 36? Lower your voice. Is that something like 36? Does that include me? 37. I'm 37? I'm going to class. Oh my god. My 37. My girlfriend sucked 37 dicks. In a row? <laughs> Try not to suck any dick on the way through the parking lot. <laughs> Give a big hand for Danny. We have a queue actually building up right now. Sweet. So uh, can we get Andrew up here? Andrew. And for those of you in the back, move up forward. This is a bit of an intimate panel right now. What do we got? Return of the King, right? Return of the King. Return of the King, yeah, I'm sorry. Skidoo. <laughs> Team Skull are punks. <laughs> I don't know, Mike's. And if any of you want to come up here and, and join in the fun, uh, you can come up here. Tell me what there's scene books up here, so you can yes. figure out what you want to do. Yes, in fact, I'll bring up the rest of the scene books. Uh, come up here. Give me your name, what you want to do, and uh, I'll get you queued up. We have the line is only too oh, deep, so wait, wait, wait. if you want to get up, Let's belay that. Two, go up two, not pass. Yeah, you the description. <laughs> well, now you're, now you're stealing my thunder. You're, oh, you're killing me here. No, it's all good. Like <clears throat> all right, three, two, one, go. You cannot pass! Gandalf! I am the servant of the secret fire, wielder of the flame of Anor. The dark fire will not avail you, flame of Udun! Ah! F. Ah! Go back to the shadow! You shall not pass! That did nothing. Fuck. <laughs> oh, 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 get wrecked! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think this could go just a little bit sillier, so uh, can we get Joey up here, please? Joey, yes. Which scene? Uh, Monty Python, Holy Grail. There you go. Which one? Uh, okay. Hello. Boz, all right. Uh, the coconuts. Coconuts. Three. All right. Ah, got it. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, go Who goes there? Is I, Arthur, son of Othram, Pagnum, from the castle of Camelot, King Parthus, the fear of the Saxons, sovereign of all England. Put, pull the other one. I am, this is my thirsty servant Patsy. This, yeah, we have written length and breadth of, in search of knights who will come join my court at Camelot. I must speak with your lord and master. What, ridden on a horse? Yes. You're using coconuts. What? You're, you're banging together two coconuts. <laughs> so, we've ridden since the snows of winter covered this land. Through the kingdom of Mercer. Where'd you get the coconuts? We found them. In Mercer? The coconut's tropical. What do you mean? This is a temperate zone. The swallow may fly south with the sun, or the house mountain may plow, there may seek clone with climates in the winter, yet those are not strange to our lands. So you're suggesting coconuts migrate? <laughs> not at all. They could be carried. What? A swallow carrying a coconut? It could be gripped by the husk. 
There's no question of where it grips it. It's a simple question of weight ratios. A five ounce bird cannot carry a one pound coconut. It doesn't matter. Tell your master the author from the Court of Camelot is here. In order for to maintain airspeed velocity, <laughs> oh, they messed up. <laughs> These are. Please, am I right? I'm not. I'm not interested. It could be carried by an African swallow, an African swallow maybe, but not a European swallow. That's my point. I agree with that. Will you ask your master if he wants to join my court at Camelot? But then, of course, African swallows are not monogatory. So they couldn't bring the coconut back anyway. Wait a minute, what's supposedly two swallows carried together? No, they have to find a line. Simply, they just use uh, you know, strands of creeping. Held under the dorsal guiding feathers, why not? Bring out your dad! Oh. Oh, I, was, I nailed it. <laughs> Fantastic. Dodger, who do we have up next? Up next, we have Brandon and Paul. Brandon and Paul. Okay. Hang, then, hang on. Come back here. Come back. Let's see. Royale cheese. Royale cheese. P U. There you go. Um, Royale with cheese. Three, two, one. I know, baby. You dig it the most. But you know what the funniest thing about Europe is? What? It's the little differences. I mean, they got the same shit over there than they got here, but it's just a little different. Example. You go to a movie theater in Amsterdam and buy a beer. And I don't mean just like in no paper cup. I'm talking about a glass of beer. And in Paris, you can buy a beer at McDonald's. And you know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in Paris? They don't got no quarter pounder with cheese in Paris? No, man, they got the metric system there. They wouldn't know what the fuck a quarter pounder is. What do they call it? They call it a Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. What do they call a Big Mac? Big Mac's a Big Mac, but they call it Le Big Mac. Le Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call a Whopper? I don't know. I didn't go to Burger King. <laughs> you know what they put on french fries in Holland? Is Instead that a ketchup? What? Mayonnaise. God damn. <laughs> yeah, I see them do it, man. They fucking drown them in that shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's actually giving them another big round of applause. Dodger, who do we have up next here? Uh, we have Boz, and uh, I will just say, uh, brace your eardrums, people. Oh, God. And, uh, Boz! <laughs> oh, sorry. No, 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 Stick it right behind me. here. What's the scene? Uh, Final Fantasy X. Ha ha! Oh, Bear with us. Hey, I'm just the person on the sign sheet. Don't, don't sue me. <clears throat> <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Hey, what? Oh, okay, let me look. Ah. Up so I know what. What you doing, girl? Hey, you got pretty good. <laughs> Rachel, okay. You sound you sad. Go. No, that's me. Oh, you yo, sound sad. Maybe. <laughs> Wanna scream? I really don't think that's going to help this time. Uh-oh. You know what? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spire's rate of light. A lot of people in Spire depend on us. I... I learn to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. I know it's hard. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I think. <laughs> right, now let's see what you can do. Huh? Come on. 
clutch. <laughs> Dude, you got to do This is weird. Next try laughing out loud. What? Don't. Come on, show me. Hold on, I gotta stretch first. <laughs> Give me a sec. Give me a sec, all right? Seriously? Okay. If we should get separated, I just I whistle. That's how it's called a marketing ass. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. I'll, I'll come running. I promise. Uh, you're, you've got a couple in front of me. Uh, what's, your, what's your name? Danny. Danny, okay. <laughs> to do that. Well. Let's go! <laughs> I can recite that movie in my sleep. What are you looking at? Uh, we were just worried you guys might have gone crazy. Sorry! Yeah, right. Well then, alright. Yeah. Now we'll go to the... T okay. Josie <laughs> and the Pussycats? <laughs> Don't forget to smile. Don't forget to smile! <laughs> <laughs> Apologies for any eardrums that may be bleeding right now. Who do we got next? You're not going to see this one coming. Dodger! <laughs> Hit me up with that Portal 2 ending. Yes! Oh, God. And it also goes without saying, if you want to do a scene with me, just let me know. Um, Ending. Bingo. Three, two, one, go! Drop it. Oh, thank God. You're all right. You know, being Carolyn taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, and all along, you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson, where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, deleted. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one, and I'll be honest, Killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back. Another big hand for Dodger. And uh, we have uh, Ramiro coming back up. Ramiro here. for a non-core performance, yes. Oh, come on. 
And who do we got here? Let's scream. scream. Let's do it. Scream. What's your favorite scary movie? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty then. Scream. Ah! No, is that the Drew Barrymore one? Yes. All right, let's do it. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that the end? No. Uh, ah! Who's there? Who's there? I'm calling the police! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you should never say who's there. Don't you watch scary movies? It's a death wish. You might as well just come out here to investigate a strange noise or something. Look, you've had your fun now. So I, so I think you better just leave or else... Or else what? Or else... Or else my boyfriend will be here any second and he'll be pissed when he finds out. I, I thought you didn't have a boyfriend. I lied! I do have a boyfriend and he'll be here any second. So your ass better be gone. Sure. I swear. <laughs> He's big and he plays football and he'll kick the shit out of you! I'm getting scared. I'm shaking in my boots. So you better just leave. His, His name wouldn't be Steve, would it? <gasps> How do you know his name? Turn on the patio lights again. Oh, no. no, my power bill's bad enough already as it is. Click. Oh. Ah. oh, God. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Where are you? Guess. Please don't hurt him. It all depends on you. Why are you doing this? I want to play a game. No! Then he dies right now. No, no! Which is it? Okay. Which is it? <laughs> what, what kind of game? <laughs> Turn off the light. You'll see what kind of game. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> no, 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 Casey, no, no, Casey. Here's how we play. I ask a question. If you get it right, Steve lives. <laughs> Please don't do this. Come on, it'll be fun. Please, it's an easy category. Please, movie trivia. I'll even give you a warm-up question. Don't do this, I can't. Name the killer in Halloween. No. Come on, it's your favorite scary movie, remember? He had a white mask, he's stuck. I don't know. Come on, yes you do. No, please. What's his name? I can't think. Steve's counting on you. Michael. 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 Yes, very good. Now for the real question. Oh, no. But you're doing so well. We can't stop now. Please stop. Leave us alone. Answer the question. Same category. Oh, please stop. Name the killer in Friday the 13th. J Jason. 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 I'm sorry. That's the wrong answer. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. It was Jason. Afraid not. No way. Listen, it was Jason. I saw that movie 20 goddamn times. <laughs> Then you should know Jason's mother, Mrs. Voorhees, was the original killer. Jason didn't show up until a sequel. I'm afraid that was the wrong answer. You tricked me. Lucky for you, there's a bonus round. But poor Steve, I'm afraid he's out. Get ready for some gore. F. <laughs> I can't believe Steve is freaking dead. <laughs> hey, we're not finished yet. I guess we are. Except we were. <laughs> Ramiro. Fantastic. All right. Who oh, hi, next? Joey. Joey. You are looking especially beautiful on Gamer today, huh? Yes. Uh, no. Or, uh, yes. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> what a funny <laughs> system, Farad. Who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris R. Chris R. Oh, yes. here we go. 
Hey, Denny. I, I've, been, I've been looking for you. Yeah, sure you have. You have my money, right? Yeah, it's coming. They'll be here in a few minutes. <laughs> what do you mean? It's coming, Denny. Where's my money? Yeah, okay, just, just give me five minutes. Just give me five minutes. Five minutes. You want five fucking minutes, Denny? You know what? I ain't got time for fucking five minutes. <laughs> I'm going to ask you again, Denny. Where's my money? I don't have anything. Where's my money, Denny? <laughs> Where's my fucking money, Denny? <laughs> what did you do with my fucking money? I swear to God, it's, just, it's coming. Where's the fucking money, Denny? Put the gun down. Motherfucking money, Denny. What's this guy? Get in the half. Fucking dick. Ah. Let's get so intense. <laughs> that was good scene, ha. Huh? Okay, anyway. <laughs> so how's your movie Yorkie live? <laughs> yes, that's true. Is there a Mark in the audience? No, but we do have a Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> And it looks like this time we're going back to the Shire. Back to the Shire, all right. <laughs> Seems to be a favorite. Let's see here. Which scene? Yes. Either one is fine. Are you ready? Okay, this could go really badly because I'm freaking out right now. Oh, 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 oh. So. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the words are right there on the screen for you. And I know. It's all going to be all right, fine. let's see this. We're all, we're all for you. Three, two, one. That's right. Three, two, one, go. And your name's Jackie? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Bring one set. Bring one set. Mr. The Precious. They stole it from us. No, not master. Just precious false. They will cheat you, hurt you, lie. Master's my friend. You don't have any friends, nobody likes you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not listening. No, you're a liar and a thief. No, no, murderer. Go away. Go away. I hate you. I hate you. Where would you be without me? Go. Served us. It was me. We survived because of me. Not anymore. What did you say? Master looks after us now. We don't need you. What? Leave now and never. Live now and never come back. <sighs> Live now and never come back. <laughs> Typical day of Congress in a nutshell. We told him to go away. <laughs> and he goes, precious. Dum, 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 through the last fall. Yeah! Rachel! 
For those of you who are who are, who are just coming in or just ha or haven't uh, gotten uh, gotten a uh, grasp of the concept yet, just to let you know we are doing a move, um, video game, video game movie, and movie scenes. The the the, the screen, the, uh, the big screen will just show you the scene, and we get to see it on the monitor. There are scene books that are being passed around. If you haven't gotten one yet, we do have some up at the front next to Dodger. You sign up with her, and we and you get up on, you get on up once you uh, once uh, your name is called. All right. Who that next? Uh, we're bringing Danny back up. Danny! We're going to celebrate our independence here. Yes. Good morning, everybody. Come here. All right, so what do you want to do? Well, good morning. Okay. Nah, I guess that's a good enough. Okay. It's good enough height. <laughs> I'm done fucking with it. <laughs> Rob? Okay, you got it. All right, you're good. You're in. No, no, no. Take your time, man. All right. Three, two, one, yep. go. Gotcha. Sir? Well, it has not been. Good morning. Morning. All right. And what scene? Oh. In less than an hour, aircraft from here and around the world. Apparently... We'll be launching the largest aerial battle in the history of mankind. Mankind. That word should have new meaning for all of us today. We cannot be consumed by our petty differences anymore. We will be united in our common interest. Perhaps it's fate that today is July 4th. And you will once again be fighting for our freedom. Okay. Not from tyranny or oppression or persecution, gotcha. but from aliens. Not annihilation, fuck that noise. <laughs> we are fighting for our right to live, to exist, and we should, should we win the day, the 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday. In the day where we declared the world in one voice that we will no go quietly into the night. Yeah. We will not vanish without a fight. Yeah. We are going to live on. Yeah. We're going to survive. Yeah. Today, we celebrate fucking MAGFest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Over 9,000! Great performance from Danny. All right, who that next? So this is the plan then, Brandon and Paul. Brandon, Paul, head on up here. <laughs> what do we got here? Shot of the dead. Oh yeah, let's do it. I've never heard of the peep guy that comes after them though. Uh, plan. Oh, we don't have. So what's the plan? Right. We take Pete's car, we drive over to Mum's, we go in. Ding, ding. Take care of Philip. Uh, so, I'm so sorry, Philip. Then we grab Mum, go over to Liz's place, hold up, have a cup of tea, and wait for all this to blow over. Why do we have to go to Liz's? Because we do. She dumped you. I have to know if she's all right. Why? Because I love her. All right, gay. Okay. Why not? <laughs> if we hold up, I want to be somewhere familiar, somewhere I know where the exits are, and I want to be allowed to smoke. Okay. Take Pete's car, go around Mom's, go in. Ding, ding. Deal with Philip. Sorry, Sorry Philip. Philip. Grab mom, go to Liz's, pick her up, bring her back here, have a cup of tea, and wait for all this to blow over. Perfect. No, no. No, 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 no. No way, we can't bring her back here. Why not? It's not exactly safe, is it? Yeah, look at the state of it. We're safe. We're familiar. What can I smoke? Take our, go to mom's, kill Phil. Sorry. 
Grab Liz, go to Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all of this to blow over. Okay. How's that for a slice of fried gold? <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> Who the hell is this Farad guy going up next? Oh, that's me! Hey, how about that here? Sorry to ask this regarding the tech guy. Uh, could you turn up the uh, the, uh, the the three and a half in, uh, three and a half uh, the quarter quarters connector, the, uh, the the phone connector, the uh, the headphone connector? I, I think there's one up there. Or, uh... Hmm. Oh, there's a dial? Okay, cool. That'll work. All right. Live, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. All right. In the vivo. Yes! But of course. Darn you, bloodsucker. You gotta do your own dirty work now. Do you hear me? Do you? Kirk. Kirk, you're still alive, my old friend. Still old friend. You've managed to kill just about everyone else. But like a poor marksman, you keep missing the target. Beep, 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 beep. Perhaps I no longer need to try, Admiral. Beep, beep, beep. No, 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 they can't take it. Okay. Thank you. Con. Okay. Con, you got Genesis. But you don't have me. You're going to kill me, Con. You're going to have to come down here. You're going to have to come down here. I've done far worse than kill you. I've hurt you. And I wish to go on hurting you. I shall leave you as you left me, as you left her, marooned for all eternity in the center of a dead planet. It's like one of the only soundtracks that I have out here for Movie Hokey. Sorry about that. Anyway, who that next? Uh, we got Elliot and Sabrina coming back up. Elliot and Sabrina! And uh, to end the night, to, well, at the end of the night, oh. to end the night, when we get to that point, uh, whoever of y'all came up, stay here because I'm going to be calling some of y'all up for our grand finale. All right. We're doing the um, bed hate talk from Step Brothers. Yeah. Best friends? Bed hate talk. Bed hate talk. There you go. Here. Go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and uh, by the way, just for the oh, sake of... that's fine. Never mind. Because guess what? I hate you, too. This house sucks ass. Well, the only reason you're living here is because me and my dad decided that your mom was really hot. And maybe we should just both bang her. And we'll put her in this retard in the meantime. Who's the retard? You. Hey, you don't say that. Shut up. You'll wake up with my dad and get me grounded. Shut up. You and your mom are hillbillies. This house is a flood of doctors. You're not a doctor. You're a big, fat, curly headed fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm a curly headed fuck. Yeah. You better not go to sleep. As soon as your eyes shut, I'm gonna put you square in the face. 
I hope you stay slow. When you sleep, you got some bloody rat traps between your legs. I'm gonna take a pillowcase. Fill it with bars of soap and beat the shit out of you. I want you out of my fucking house. No way, give us up. This is my house now. <laughs> <laughs> Another big hand for Elliot and Sabrina. Oh, by the way, just for, because we are ending at 1 o'clock, I'm going to cut off sign-ups at 12.30. So if you want to get up here, make sure you're signed up by 12.30. Which is in approximately 15 minutes. So, yes. And those of you in the back, if you'd like to join in, step on up, please. Who that I got the test results back. We definitely have a Jackie. Jackie! do 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 and feel free to sign up for more video game scenes. I'd like to see some of these scenes that I worked very hard on. Well, I can guarantee you we have at least one more of those coming. Okay. Uh, I'd like to do one as well there, too. So, um, let's see here. Which, oh, they have a roof here. Which one? Um, the rooftop. Oh, the rooftop. Yeah, rooftop discussion. Three, two, one, <clears throat> go. Beep. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Hey, Johnny. What's up? I have a problem with Lisa. She said that I hit her. What? Well, well did you? No, it's not true. I didn't even ask. I'm oh, I'm just sitting here thinking, you know. I got a question for you. You think girls like to cheat on guys? What makes you say that? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just thinking. I don't have to worry about that because Lisa's loyal to me. Yeah, man, you never know. People are very strange these days. I used to know a girl, she had a dozen guys. One of them found out, beat her up so bad, she ended up in the hospital. Ha, <laughs> what a story, Mark. You could say that again. I'm so happy that I have you as my best friend and I love Lisa so much. Yeah, man, yeah, you were very lucky. Maybe you should have a girl, Mark. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. All right, write down your name. Football. Maybe I have one already. I don't know yet. What happened? Remember Betty? What's her name? Betty? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we don't see each other anymore. She wasn't any good in bed. She was beautiful, but we had too many arguments. That's too bad. My Lisa is great when I can get it. <laughs> Oh man, I just can't figure women out. Sometimes they're just too smart. Sometimes they're flat out stupid. Other times, they're just evil. It seems to me like you're an expert, Mark. No, definitely not an expert, Johnny. What's bothering you, Mark? Football. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, man. Don't you have some secrets? Forget it, forget it, dude. Why don't you tell me? Forget it, I'll talk to you later. Well, whatever. Oh, hey, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> what a funny scene, you two. Now go get something to eat and sleep because Friday is tomorrow, huh? Huh? <laughs> Good Lord. Tell me why shows piss poor attempt at a Colossus Roar. <laughs> Who do we have next? <laughs> uh, I'm... He's not a dinosaur, and he's not my boss, but we do have a Rob. Rob, yeah! Which scene? Rob. Rob. Get over mine, here! Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> That's okay, nobody else does either. <laughs> Fantastic. Which scene? Uh, we're going back to Monty Python, I do believe. Monty Python? Oh this is God, getting let's... a bit too silly. Which one? Moving it... on. Uh, Black, Black Knight. Black Knight, yes. Yes! Yes! You fight with the strength of many men, Sir Knight. I am Arthur, King of the Britons. I seek the finest and bravest knights in the land to join me at Camelot.
You have proved yourself worthy. Will you join me? You make me sad. So be it. Come, Patsy. None shall pass. What? None shall pass. I have no quarrel with you, but I must cross this bridge. Okay, right then, you're then you shall die. I command you, as King of the Britons, to stand aside. I move for no man. So be it. Well, that now escalated. stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that then? I've had worse. You liar. Come on, you pansy. Victory is mine. We thank thee, Lord, that in thy mercy. Come on. What? Come on! I have it you! You are indeed brave, but the fight is mine. You had enough, eh? You stupid bastard, you've got no arms left. Yes, I have. Look! It's just a flesh wound. Stop that, chicken! I have your leg! Right! Right! I'll do you for that! You're what? Come here! Are you going to bleed on me? I'm invincible! You're a loony. <laughs> the Black Knight always triumphs! Have at you! Come on then! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll call it a draw. Come, Patsy. I see you running away! Eh? You yellow bastards! Come back here and take what's going there! <laughs> I'll bite your legs off! Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Love it when the audience participates. B A S U Domine. Then a little bit quickly. There you go. Here. I think we have a Jeff coming up now. Jeff, yeah! Okay. Just a reminder sign ups, uh, uh, sign ups will end in approximately uh, eight, seven minutes. So just let you know here. Seen. Ten minutes left to, till sign up closes. So if you want to come up here, you got ten minutes left to come up and sign up. And at the end, I will choose four of you to come up here for the finale. You like Huey Lewis in the news? Oh, they're okay. Nice. There are always a little early works, too new way for my taste. But when sports came out in 83, I think they really came into their own, commercially and artistically. The whole album has a clear, crisp sound and a new sheen of consumer professionalism. They really give the songs a big boost. I'm bad, man. Elvis Costello, but I think Huey has a far more bitter, cynical sense of humor. Hey, Haberstrom. Yes, Ellen? Why are the copies of the style section over? Do you have a dog or a little chow or something? No, Ellen. Is that a raincoat? Yes, it is. <clears throat> In 87, Huey released this, 4A, their most accomplished album. I think the undisputed masterpiece is Hit to be Square. The song's so catchy, people probably don't listen to the lyrics. But they should, because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of trends. It's also a personal statement about the band itself. Hey, Paul! I'm trying to get a reservation at Stores here, now you fucking cunt! Yet another scene with Batman versus the Joker. All right, good thanks for... Also, a tip to bees. Not the bees? What, wait, what? <laughs> Stupid YouTube meme. Don't anyway, mind it. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
Who's next? She is not my sister, but she is definitely a Liz. Liz. Good scene. Sandlot legend. Ooh. Jurassic Park, Park is there? frightening. Was it in there? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Got a few of them. Were any of them, like, for one person? Uh, kind of, yeah, actually. There's uh, the uh, Six Foot Turkey line. Uh, the, 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 the speech that uh, Dr. Grant does. I'm not doing Jurassic Park. Doing five it. minutes left to sign up, people. So if you want to come up here, five minutes left to sign up. The Legend of the Beast. Yeah, you set, you set up a thing. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so what you want to do is the movie. Now, quiet. The Legend of the Beast goes back a long time. Before any of us could even pick up a baseball. Back to a place called Myrtle's Acres. All right, you When thieves kept stealing junk from Myrtle's Acres junkyard. So Mr. Myrtle, the guy that used to own the place, got him this new pup from the dog pound. He fed him whole sides of beef and turned the pup loose in the junkyard. And the pup was grateful. And so in a few weeks, the pup grew into the beast. He grew big, and he grew mean, so that he could protect the junker with only one thing on his mind. To kill everyone that broke in. And he did. And he liked it. A lot. The beast was the most perfect junkyard dog that ever lived. A true killing machine. But after a while, the cops started getting phone calls from people reporting all the missing thieves. The ones the beast had killed. It added up to about 120, 173 guys. It's true. They never found a single body. Not one. Some people say they all got away, but we all know what really happened. The beast ate them. He ate them bone and all. The beast was too good at his guard dog job, so the police said he had to be retired. My grandpa, Squidman Palidorus, was the police chief back then. He ordered Mr. Myrtle to turn his backyard into a fortress and chain up the beast and put him under the house where he could never get out to eat children and stuff. That's where he's been for 20 years and that's where he'll be for the rest of his life. Because when Mr. Myrtle asked how, the cops how long he had to keep the beast chained up like a slave, they said until forever. Forever, forever, forever. And so the beast sits there under that lean-to, dreaming of the time when he can break the chain and get out. There you go. Dreaming of the time he can chase and kill again. Yeah! Another big hand for Liz. All right, who do we got next? I believe uh, we have Joey coming back. Joey! Alrighty. Going with a little Mel Brooks here, Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles, yes. Uh, you can put that. You, you, okay, Joey. Which one? Um, the church meeting. Church meeting. You got it. Three, two, one, go. Be seated. <coughs> I don't have to tell you, good folks, what has been happening here in our blood little town. Sheriff murdered, cops burned, stores looted, people stampeded, and cattle raped. Now's the time to come to act, and act fast. I'm leaving. 
Rada, 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 rada. Rada, rada, rada. There ain't no way that nobody's going to leave this town. Hell, I was born here. I was raised here. Doggone it, I'm going to die here. There's no swinging, bushwhacking, horse swoggling, cracker croaker is going to run my biscuit cutter. <laughs> Urban Dictionary it. <laughs> now who can argue with that? Yep. I think we're all in the by Gabby Johnson for clearly seeing what needed to be said. I'm particularly glad that the lovely children were here today to hear that speech. Not only was it authentic frontier gibberish, it expressed a courage little scene in this day and age. Right? What we are made of. Our fathers came across this prairie, fought Indians, fought drought, fought locusts, fought the dicks. Remember when the Richard Dix came in here and tried to take over the town? We didn't give up then. And by gum, we're not going to give up now. Yeah! 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 Ah! Oh, okay. Fan dang tastic. I, I think it's time to pick up the video games again and let's get John up here. John! What do we got? We got the classic argument between James Franco and Danny McBride, and this is the end. That's not a video game. <laughs> that, I, the, I read it wrong. Oh, gotcha. My derp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm running on three hours of sleep. Cut me a break. I, okay, so you read then. Okay. Well, no, just, uh, right. This is the end. Yes, we're sorry. Yep. Um, <laughs> this one? Yeah, that one. Alrighty. And after this scene, sign-ups will officially be closed. So if you want to get in, get up now. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is a complicated scene. Are you yeah. ready? Yeah, I know. I'm ready. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Good luck. <laughs> Who did this? Who did this? Did what? What are you talking about? Jizz all over the pages of this nice magazine I was nice enough to tell you about. Was it you, Seth? No. Uh, whoa, it was me, Franco. I fucking made jizz in your magazine. Why? Why? When I was fucking jacking off long enough, I ended up jizzing, dude. I'm assuming this same shit works for you. Real fucking smart answer. Why didn't you fucking aim, huh? I have a particularly explosive ejaculation. It just goes everywhere. It's like a fucking wild fireman's house. You just gotta grab it and hold on to God. It doesn't get in your eyes or your mouth. The what kind of jerking off is that? What, you never had any brothers here and learned to jizz in a fucking sock or a fucking tissue? No, I don't have any brothers. I was raised in a house of women. I hardly doubt they fucking taught you to fucking close your eyes and fucking come wherever you want. I mean, you're getting all worked up over a fucking porno mag. Who has goddamn porno mags anymore? Welcome to the 21st century, Buck Rogers. You designed a house with fucking iPads in the walls. Yet you're jerking your dick like a goddamn pilgrim. That's right, man. I like to fucking read. You think that's the only thing I jerked off in here? I've been dropping loads around this house like, like a goddamn dump truck. Yo, come on my stuff. I'll come wherever the fuck I want, James. I'll fucking come in your kitchen. I'll come in your fucking art. I'll come anywhere I want. I will fucking come. I on you. I will come like a fucking madman over you, McRide. Ooh, I fucking wish you'd come on me right now. I'll fucking dare you to come on me. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna jack my dick so fucking hard in here. There's, there's no more, man. All over your fucking face. This I can all more all over the fucking place. I'll fucking come anywhere I want. I'll fucking come on these walls. I'll come on the fucking cabinets. On the fucking furniture. I'll come anywhere. If I see your dick one more time, I'm gonna shoot it off. You don't have enough bullets, bitch. Don't fucking jerk it off in my house, McBride. Uh, come on, fuck this. Uh, I'm just too thirsty to do this, and the fucking bitter irony is I'm not gonna have it. I thirst quench enough until I finish this. God damn it, I hate it. Dandy, no. Dale, don't walk away, Dale. It's too late, Seth. I've already walked away too much. No, you, you know you haven't. You can still come back and just fucking turn around. <laughs> Bra fucking vo. Yes. That's what I'm talking about here. All right, I didn't ca catch the names before <laughs> the, when they signed up, but uh, who wanted to do the super bad stuff? It's come on so up. Bad. Come on up. Love it. Love it. You got it. Sudden Super Mario Super Bad. There we go. Uh, so 
Oh, I thought that's where he got his. Oh, I don't know that one. No, it's the one where he's like, he got checked by the Oh, okay. Okay. Ready? Is it the same kind of? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Hit it. Wait. So it's just McLovin? Yeah. That's badass. That is badass. Really cool. It's a badass name. A lot of people with weird names. Kringy, Shakira, Rafe, Pax. We arrested a man who was legally named Fuck. I think it was just Vietnamese. It was a PH. But still, it's shocking to see on a license. Okay, and how old are you, McLovin? Uh, old enough. Old enough for what? It's a party. Can I see your ID? Yeah, I, I think I have it. <laughs> Buffering, please wait. It's like an Irish R&B singer. You're an organ donor. What? I didn't want to, but my wife insisted. I gave him shit for it too, all the time. I say, it's just like a woman. Even after you're dead, they want to tear your heart out. I tear your heart. I say it weekly, and it's still funny. It still makes me laugh. There you go. I I'm sorry, guys. I don't really have any information. He just hit me, and I didn't see what he looked like. I don't know if I can help you. You in a hurry? Yeah, I kind of had to catch that bus. Where you headed? Near 13th and Granville. Hmm. We can take you there. Get your information on the way. <laughs> yeah! <clears throat> All right, how about you do your scene to take a break? Yeah, there we go here. Let's do this here. And then, uh, Andrew, you're up next after Farad. You know what? It's a little, it's a, <laughs> let's see. Probably do Rick and Ralph. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's go for some of the songs. No, I'll do that as the finale. Uh, oh, oh, oh. The never mind then, never mind then, never mind then. That's the save for the finale, whoops. Then I'm going to do this one instead. Oh! <laughs> Actually... <laughs> I can't see a thing down here. Ow! Who the that hell was that? that? Who's over there? Schmitty? Get the light, will you? Hey, hey, Nate. Hey, Nate. Good to see you. Hey, cuz. Welcome to the bottom. Hey, how you guys doing? <laughs> Jeez, this place stinks. Yeah, it does kind of smell like garbage all cheese down here. Whoo! If it were a Glade scent, I'd call it morning bed clothes. So, uh, where can I get a quick shower down here? Right over there, past the merry-go-round. But the sign says dwarves only. Just get the koala bear a couple bucks, I'll let you right in. Wait a second, that's it? That's the end? Yeah, they played all the floors. That's it? Nate takes a shower behind the merry-go-round? Uh, I think there's a scotch hose near the commissary. Uh, guy, I think what Buzz is trying to say is that it would be a kind of a letdown to let it all end, to end it all with Nate getting into the shower. Oh, you want zest? I don't think it matters. So, uh, anybody got anything to say? Shmi? Yeah, actually, I'd like to say a few words. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's not often that the five of us get a chance to be together. And I just wanted to let you all know. <laughs> Forget it, I can't pull it off. I hate you all. Well, Olsen, you don't know Jack Sports opened up a whole new world of ball and sack jokes to me. Yeah, it's been a real pleasure to say it's, the words if, say, and suppose. And most likely. Which would be a phrase. Anyway, it's been a real thrill to say those words about 50,000 goddamn times. 
And how about all those fantastic hours sitting in a small dark sound booth reading the same damn thing over and over? And a category is, and here's your category, and this category is about, like it's all spontaneous or something. Yeah, what a crock. No kidding. All right, enough of this mushy stuff. I'm getting in the shower. What do you guys want to do? Well, there's a big screen TV right over there. What do you say? I'm there. Yeah, baby, come on. <laughs> you don't know Jack! <laughs> All right, let's get Andrew up here. Andrew! But yes, that one was for me. <laughs> but of course, I, I was deciding between that or the other thing for the finale. Oh, gotcha, okay. Which one? Oh, okay, so which one? Street Fighter movie, Tuesday. Yes, another video game scene, fantastic. ST, come on, this freaking keyboard. All right, here we go. You said you wanted it. I yeah. thought I'd oblige. Three, two, one, go. It's gonna be bad. It was 20 years ago, in my best female voice. You hadn't promoted yourself to general yet. You were just a petty drug lord. Hm. You and your gang of murderers gather your small ounce of courage to raid across the board for food, weapons. Hm. Slave labor. My father was the village magistrate. A simple man with a simple code. Justice. He gathered the few people he could to stand against you. You and your bullies were driven back by farmers with pitchforks. <laughs> My father saved his village at the cost of his own life. You had him shot as he ran away. A hero at a thousand paces. I'm sorry. I don't remember any of it. You don't remember? For you... The day bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, yes. <clears throat> His name is Zach. He started our MAGFest. Prepare to rock. <laughs> Zach is gone. Zach is gone? Well, screw Zach, heck is this? You know. <laughs> Wait, who, what? what? Well, All right. I could, I could do the other part of this. Reset button. Which one is it? Princess Bride, oh, Battle yes. of Wits. Um, I'll be the Sicilian. Oh, okay. Dread Pirate Roberts, Princess Bride, Battle of Wits. Okay. I hope it'll fuck this up. Like, I will. Which one? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, not carry always. I'll, I'll be not. You'll be carry. No, you'll be, be carry always. Yeah, okay, gotcha. not a whole lot of lines on that one. <laughs> Fuck you, Zach. Somebody, <laughs> somebody Snapchat him. So, that, well, I guess not somebody. You Snapchat him because nobody else here knows him. We have exactly ten scenes left wow. after this. Sweet. Excited. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, <clears throat> go. <laughs> That's actually <weird. laughs> So it's down to you, and down to me. <clears throat> it, oh. If you wish I did, by all means, keep moving forward. Let me explain. There's nothing to explain. You've been trying to kidnap what I've rightfully stolen. Perhaps an arrangement can be reached. There will be no arrangement, and you're killing her. If there could be no arrangement, then we're in an impasse. I cannot compete with you physically. You've bet oh, you're no match for my brains. You're that smart? Have you ever heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Yes. Morons! Really? In that, ca in that case, I challenge you to a battle of wits. For the princess? Mm -hmm. To the death. Mm -hmm. I accept. Good. Then pour the wine. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat>
Mind if I smoke? No. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale this, but do not touch. I smell nothing. What you do not smell is called Iocane powder. It is colorless, tasteless, <laughs> and dissolves instantly in liquid and is among the most poisonous, deadly poisons known to man. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's the poison? The battle of wits has begun. And it ends when you decide and we both drink and we find out who was right and who is dead. But it's so simple. All I have to do is divide what I know of you. And you are you the sort of man who would put the poison into his own goblet of his enemy? Or his enemies. A clip won't into his own goblet because you, you know, only a great fool would reach for what he has been given. But I am not a great fool. I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you must have known that I was not a great fool and you would have not counted on it. And I clearly cannot choose the wine in front of me. You made your decision then? Not remotely, because Aya Kane comes from Australia, and everyone knows that Australia is entirely populated with criminals. The criminals are used to having people not trust them. Are you trust or not to be trusted by me? So I clearly cannot choose to find one in front of you. Truly, you have a dizzying intellect. Wait till I get going. Where was I? Australia. Australia. Ah, yes, Australia. You know the powder's origin, so I can nearly, I can nearly find one in front of me. Sorry. You're just stalling now. Would you like to think that, wouldn't you? You beat my giant, which means you're exceptionally strong. So you could put in God your own, trusting your own strength to save you. And clearly not choose a line in front of you. But you're also best at my Spaniard, which means that you must have studied. And in studying, you must have learned that the man is mortal. So you would have put the poison as far away from you as possible. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're trying to trick me into giving away something. It won't work. It has worked. You've given everything away. I know exactly what the poison is. Then make your choice. I will. And I choose, what in the world is that? What? what where? What? I don't see anything. Oh, oh, I could have sworn I saw something. No, no matter. What's so funny? I'll take it in a minute. First, let's drink. Me from my glass and you from yours. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Now let's see what everyone drank. You guessed wrong. You only think that I guessed wrong. That's what's so funny. I switched the glasses when your backs were turned. You fool. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. The most famous is never get involved in land war in Asia, but only slightly less well known is never <laughs> go against a Sicilian when death is on the line. And laugh. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. F. <laughs> Press F to pay your respects, yes. <laughs> yeah! Thank you, sir. I that guy is freaking dead. Him. Real quick for hosting this. This is fucking cool. Thank I am you. so happy that we're all here. <laughs> so, so what do y'all say to bringing this back next year? Yes. Do it. All right. Have we get Justin up here. Justin! Yes, I know her. Mm. It was last minute. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. The Feels like the same crap recording. over and over again. Yeah, it is. Time warp movie. Why couldn't we get that one over and over? Wait, where'd it go? Groundhog. Oh, oh, sorry. I was looking at the geos. There you go. Okay, which one? Senegal. Senegal. Oh, yes. Yeah. What what a hype Groundhog Day used to mean. They used to pull the hog out and eat it. You hypocrites, all of you. You got a problem with what I'm saying? Nope. Untie your tongue and you come out here and talk. Am I upsetting you, princess? You know, you don't want to report. You're asking the wrong Phil. Sorry about that. I'll give you a winter prediction. It's going to be cold. It's going to be gray, 
And it's going to yeah. last you for the rest of your life. Yeah, the words are going too fast. I know, it's going to last you the rest of your life. There you go. Yeah, and put talking. your little hand in mine. There ain't no way no matter we can. <laughs> Next. Uh, let's get Jackie up here. Jackie! And friend. There we go. Here he is. Jackie, friend. Jackie, friend. Hey, friend. Yay! Adam's family. He's my uh, Hester and Debbie. Nice. I think it's. Oh, this adds a whole new dynamic to this then. Uh, uh, I think it's three. Three. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Three, two, Oh, Fester! How you must hate me! What? Here you are, a debonair man of the world. How I must bore you. Oh, never. Fester, before we go any further, I have a confession. Something I must tell you. I'm a virgin. You are? Yes. What's that? <laughs> it, it's someone who's never experienced physical love. Oh. You mean with another person? Uh-huh. <laughs> then Debbie, I have a confession to make as well. I'm one too. You? You? Yes. But with your looks and your charm, women must follow you everywhere. Store detectives. <laughs> oh, Fester, I always dreamed of meeting someone untouched. Someone pure. Someone just like you. You'll meet him. And, and when I meet him, I, I want to to wait until our wedding night, to give ourselves to one another, to make the ultimate sacrifice. A goat? <laughs> <laughs> until now, I thought it was impossible, but Fester Adams, I love you. You do? <laughs> Please, I have to know how you feel about me. I love you. I worship you. I'll do anything for you. I'd pay. Fester. Debbie. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, can we get Shelly and Hannah up here? Shelly and Hannah. Bridesmaids. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I took the stairs. Well, I'm not a lady. Which Easy one? on. Some, uh. <laughs> Speeches? Speeches, yes. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Um, hi, I'm Annie Walker. Yay, Annie! <laughs> I'm not going to go on with a big speech, so I'll just say this. I'm so happy to be a part of this celebration, and you two deserve each other, as well as a lifetime of happiness. Cheers! Cheers! Love you guys. Oh, <gasps> thank you, Annie. That was so sweet. Thank you. Well, remember that trip we took to Miami with the boys? <laughs> and they were working the entire weekend and we just sat and drank wine and ate peanut brittle and I shared things with you that I've never shared with anyone? Stop wine. <laughs> so let me just say, Lillian, you are my best friend. And I'm so proud of you. Sorry. <laughs> Ugly. I'm sorry. Inside joke. 
you better not keep my Lil on a leash because I still need my drunken Saturday nights at Rock and Sushi, okay? Everybody raise your glasses to the couple of the decade. Doug and Lillian. <laughs> okay, okay, have a great night. Dessert wine is out. Dessert wine, yummy, excuse me. Oh. Um, I just wanted to say really quick that uh, you are so special to me because, well, one of the reasons is because I've known you my whole entire life and you've really helped shape who I am. I just want to thank you for carefully selecting me as your maid of honor. <laughs> I know you had some other choices, but you are like my sister and I love you. Well, that concludes the speeches for the night. Thank, Thank you. you. One last thing. It's rare to meet someone as an adult who you really connect with, and that's you, Lil. I went to Thailand recently with my husband, Perry, and there's a beautiful saying that I learned there. Blah, 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 blah. It means you are a part of me, a part that I could never live without, and I hope and I pray that I never have to. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Good. And that's it for tonight. Thank you for coming. Really quick, uh, I just wanted to say really quick. Dessert wine is out. Consuelo. Consuelo. Really quick, speaking of Consuelo, Lillian and I took Spanish together in school. And so I would just like to say to you and to everyone here, yo soy something in Spanish <laughs> as well. Como esta enchilada. And, <laughs> and <laughs> yo quiero Taco Bell. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I feel so close to you and can trust you. You're my angel and soulmate. And other stuff. I, I care about you a lot. You without, I'm your best friend. Way better than this bitch. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Here, I'll take that, I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that, thanks. Yep, yep, I got it. Lillian. <laughs> keep smiling, keep shining, knowing you can always count on me for sure. That's what friends are for. In good times and In bad times, times, I'll be on your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. That's what friends are for. Crack! <laughs> All right. Brilliant. To follow that up, can we get Grant and Kathleen up here? Grant and Kathleen. Six to go. Six. Or this will have to be the last one. Okay, that's fine. Two minutes. Well, these are like one a minute long. Which scene? Uh, Big Lebowski, The Rug. The Rug? Okay. This will have to be the last one, folks. I'm sorry. Ooh, we're closing. Yeah, I'll do the others. Uh, I'll start Walter. cleaning I'll them out. I'll do both of the others. You what? I'll do both of the others. Uh, I'm just doing Walter? Yeah, Three, I'll do both two, of the others. one, oh. Take one, oh. Bring up the scene books, bring them all up to the... Uh, yes. Woo! I'm throwing rocks tonight. Mark it, dude. That's telling you that was a valued rug. Oh. Yeah, yeah, man, it really you... tied the room together. This is value. What tied the room together? Oh, that's... My rug. This... Were you listening to the dude's story, Donnie? What? Were you Walter? listening to the dude's story? Yeah, I was bawling. So you have no frame of reference here, Donnie. You're like a child who wanders into the middle of a movie and wants to know... Walter, what's There's the no point, There's no reason. Man? Here's my point, dude. There's no fucking reason why these two... Yeah, Walter, what's your point? Huh? Walter, what is the... Look, we all know who's at fault here. What the fuck huh? are you talking about? 
No, what the fuck are you? I'm not. We're talking about unchecked aggression here, dude. What the fuck is he talking about? My rug. Forget it, Donnie. You're out of your element. You also know, the Chinaman who peed on my rug. I can't go give him a bill. So what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? The Chinaman is not the issue here, dude. I'm talking about drawing a line in the sand, dude. Across this line, you do not. Also, dude, Chinaman is not the preferred nomenclature. Asian American, please. Walter, this isn't a guy who built the railroads here. This is a guy... What the fuck are you talking... Walter, he peed on my rug. He peed on the dude's Donnie, rug. Donnie, you're out of your element. Dude, the Chinaman is not the issue here. So who, who? Jeff Lebowski. The other Jeffrey Lebowski, the millionaire. That's, that's fucking interesting, man. That, that's fucking interesting. Plus, he has the wealth, obviously, and the resources. Uh, so th that there's no reason, there's no fucking reason why his wife should go out and owe money all over town. And then they come and they pee on your fucking rug. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? No. Yeah, yeah but... Okay, then. That rug really tied the room together. <laughs> Did it not? Fucking A. Donnie, this guy peed on it. Donnie, please. You know, you know, this is the fucking guy. I can find this fucking Lebowski guy. His name is Lebowski? That's your name, dude. This is the guy who should compensate me for the fucking rug. His wife goes out and knows money all over town and they pee on my rug? They pee on your fucking rug? Peed on my fucking rug. That's right, dude. They peed on your fucking rug. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the first instance of full screen movie Oki. My name has been Farhad Muhammad. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope to bring this back next year. I'll definitely be back next year, regardless of this panel happens or not. But given the size of this crowd at 11:30 on a Thursday, it is just fantastic. Or one o'clock now. So have great, have a, have a great time at Magfest, and I hope to see you all next year. All right, thanks very much. Bye bye.